In school, we were taught that the basic building blocks of nature are atoms, which are in turn made out of protons, neutrons and electrons. We believed that protons and neutrons are elementary particles, meaning they cannot be further divided. However, we now understand that they both have a complex internal structure. They are made out of smaller particles called quarks. In large particle experiment facilities, the protons can be disentangled and we can analyze the quarks themselves, how they interact and a lot more. It turns out that the standard model, the current theory about particles and their interactions, successfully predicts the experiments that we do. However, this is not always the case. Quarks can sometimes change their identity. The bottom quark, for example, can transform into the strange quark. In this process, it leaves behind either a pair of electrons or a pair of muons, which is the heavy brother of the electron. Now, under certain circumstances, if we would repeat this experiment a couple of times and count the electrons and the muons, we would see that there are more electrons than muons, contrary to what the standard model predicts, namely that this number should be the same. So what went wrong here? The experiment or is the standard model missing an ingredient? In my PhD research, I'm assuming the latter. I'm trying to enhance the standard model such that our new theory predicts this absurd number of electrons and muons in the bottom quark to strange quark experiment. Now, one solution is to assume that the bottom quark bonds in a special way either with the electron or the muon seems that the muon is the right choice. This bonding is actually known in physics as a force. However, all the other successful experiments predict that this new type of force will be visible only at energies much higher than we can nowadays achieve at our experiments. So should we give up? Not really. Just like the moon practically does not impact a simple free fall, but causes tidal waves, in my research, I'm also looking for phenomena where the impact of this new force is relatively large. Assuming some other ingredients, we indeed found such experiments and they are available at the energies that we can now achieve and they appear even more frequently than the bottom quark to strange quark process. Uh, these experiments and theories could really change the way we perceive nature is they give us directly a portal to look at the at physics at much higher energies even without having all the machines and equipment so let's see if we can make the standard model more delicious <laughs>